everyone and welcome to today's general hospital recap as always don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps a pretty good episode today so let's get right into it so jake and elizabeth Oi. Um, so Jake has a dream that he's playing with Danny, but it's with Elizabeth in Elizabeth's room. And they're playing with like the little motorcycle. And then when Jake wakes up, he tells Elizabeth about the dream and like her facial expression, like her face just drops. So like she is horrified that Jake is going to figure out who he is. So he tells her about the dream in more detail. And like in the dream, she asks him, oh, I wonder where Danny gets it from. Like, you know, Danny's his kid. And like, isn't that weird? And Elizabeth is like, well, you know, the other night Cameron had a dream he was a game show host. And I'm like, are you serious, Elizabeth? Like, he's obviously obviously starting to remember he obviously wants to remember who he was and like you're gonna keep that from him like how can you claim to love someone and then keep something this this big from them like who they really are I don't I don't understand even though they're not gonna end up with you if you really love someone you would want them to be happy no matter what but enough of Carly's lecture for the day um what can I say so there, then they look through job listings for Jake, and they find an ELQ job for the head of security, and Jake wants to look into it because he knows Michael, and Elizabeth's like, but background checks, and corporate, and this and that, and Jake's like, no, I met Michael, and he was really cool, and he really nice, and he seemed to like me, like, I think I should go for it. So I'm like, ha ha ha, Elizabeth, he's gonna figure out who he is, because you can't be around Michael and be Jason and not figure out who you are. So Sam comes to the quarter mains for Danny to visit Monica and uh, Sabrina and Sam wind up talking and Sabrina tells her suspicions about Rosalie and Sabrina tells Sam about the time she walked in the ELQ and heard Rosalie call someone else boss on the phone and after a little bit of a discussion Sam agrees to take on the e ELQ case and see if anything's up with Rosalie, and she says, but I don't even know where to start, and Sabrina's like, well, what about Rosalie's secret, and Sam's like, what now, and, like, she kind of tells her a bit about Rosalie's secret, that they don't know specifically what it is, but that it's there, so Sam's like, all right, well, the easiest way to do that is to go to Nina, so Sam is headed off to go talk to Nina. At ELQ, Michael tells Rosalie that they need to talk about Franco, and Michael confronts Rosalie about the discrepancy between Franco's story and her own. And Rosalie explains it all away, and Michael believes her. And I'm like, Rosalie, like, uh, oh, oh. And then Rosalie's like, oh, this is coming from Sabrina, isn't it? So then Rosalie tells Michael that she thinks Sabrina's acting like this because she's jealous of them. And, think, and I'm like, all right, whatever. And then um, after Rosalie leaves the office, Jake arrives at ELQ for the security position. We see Franco and Obrecht today, and Franco returns the egg salad painting uh, that... Oh, my eye. Oh, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, so Franco re returns the egg salad painting uh, back to Obrecht, and she's very verklempt that the painting is broken. And uh, Franco also tells Obrecht about the plan that he and Nathan did, and how Nathan backed out of the plan at the last second. And Obrecht's like, oh, he's so compassionate, I have no idea where he gets that from. And I'm like, me neither. I wonder who his real father is. And Obrecht wants to bring Madeline into this to help Nina see the light and I'm like ha 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 uh, just to tell you my little reactions so then um, they want to play the whole enemy and my enemy is my friend card and Obrecht says that she has a way of ensuring her sister's cooperation and then they're headed off to Pentonville but Obrecht calls Pentonville first to schedule a visit and the jail, jail tells her that she's gone dun 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 but the promo kind of gives it away so, if you don't watch the promos, I won't tell you, but, like, come on. So, at the Metro Court, oh, the Metro Court, Nina and Rick have breakfast, and Nina tells Rick that she sold off 11.5% of ELQ, and Rick panics a little bit when she tells him what uh, she, oh, when she tells him what she used the money on and where the rest of the money is and he's really relieved that she says it's in the bank and she used it to pay off like the hotel bill and then she's like oh why do you care I thought you didn't care about my money I thought you weren't interested so he just says he's worried that someone was taking advantage of her and then Molly comes over and immediately doesn't like Nina because Nina broke up Silas and Sam's relationship so then Nina tells Molly to call her mom and Molly's face she was like 
except better. I, I can't do that on demand. I, I don't have the motivation. Um, so, and I'm like, oh my god, that's not happening. So then Molly's like, um, thanks, but no, I already have a mother. And Nina wants to be another female presence to guide her through this new stage of womanhood. And Molly, you could have, you have two moms now. And even Rick is like, yeah, no, like, chill out lady. So Molly gets a phone call and she's like, whoever you are, you are my favorite person right now. And Molly, uh, it's from TJ. TJ, um, is on the phone with Molly and I'll tell you about him later. And Molly tells Rick that TJ is at the police station. Spoiler alert. Eek out what you do. Um, and she asks Rick if he'll represent him, and he says yes, and then they head off to the police station and leave Nina all alone. And when Nina is picking up the tab because everyone has left her, uh, Sam comes over to sit with Nina and talk with her. <laughs> At Windermere, Sloane comes to visit Nicholas and uh, threats uh, threatens him, like, a veiled threats, that, that's what it's called, veiled threats. Uh, with exposing him, but Nicholas calls his bluff and asks him what he wants because he's like, we both know you're not going to expose yourself and the only way you could expose me is to expose yourself. So uh, so then Nicholas wants Sloane to help him take over ELQ. So Sloane agrees to do this and Elizabeth is now at Windermere suddenly and sees Sloane leaving and asks Nicholas why the ex-commissioner's there. Dun, dun, dun. At the police station. Valerie tells Jordan that there's a perp in the interrogation room and Jordan's like yeah well I don't handle everyone that comes in here and Valerie's like yeah you're gonna want to handle this one and it's TJ I kind of spoiled it earlier in the video um but TJ accuses Jordan of not caring about him and only the only reason she's there is because she doesn't want to be embarrassed because she's the new commissioner and TJ wants his phone call and he refuses to tell Jordan why he's there and Dante's the one who brought him in and Dante's not picking up his phone. So then TJ wants his phone call. TJ calls Molly. And Jordan tries to get Dante on the phone. And she's like really frustrated because Dante's not picking up. And then Rick and Molly arrive. And Rick goes in the interrogation room and asks TJ what's going on. But we don't get the answer today. And we don't even get the answer in the promo. So I cannot help you there. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait for tomorrow, quite honestly. And is it Thursday tomorrow? I don't know what today is. It might be Wednesday. I don't know. It's th Oh, Hannibal's on tomorrow. That's why I'm happy. Um, But I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. And... I will see you tomorrow. I'm not. I'm not good at this. Bye.